Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a topic that is not only fascinating but on the forefront of new scientific research. Cancer is the uncontrollable division of cells in the bodies of living organisms. Cancer is the result of diet, genetics, environment, and behavior. Unfortunately, cancer can develop in just about any organ of the body. According to the National Cancer Institute, there are over 200 different types of cancers that affect the human body. Cancer has a drastic effect on animals as well. Veterinarians are diagnosing cancer in pets more and more each year. Some common types of cancer you may be familiar with is leukemia, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and breast cancer. And as I said before, it's uncontrollable cellular growth and your body does not recognize these cells and the cells will overpopulate and become problemsome. This is just what normal cancer cells look like here. And you see they are robust in shape. They have a single nucleus and they have large cytoplasm. And here you have cancerous cells where they are rigid in shape and they have multiple nuclei and they are, they are uh, malformed. And for some reason the body cannot recognize these. In this talk, I won't be focusing on the familiar types of cancer. Here's another picture showing uh, mutation in cancer cells. Here, this is normal cellular division. And here, normally the body will recognize this and then it will result in apoptosis, which is cellular death. Here, you have a mutated cell and this is when the body is not functioning properly and mutation continues until you have a large mass of cancerous cells, which is a tumor, and this tumor can become uh, malignant, causing disease in the long run. So the type of cancer I will be talking about today is Markel cell carcinoma. I will be addressing a rare type of cancer that is that is not uh, that is not really known by a lot of people. Okay, Markel cell carcinoma is a rare form of cancer. Markel cell carcinoma has extraordinary origin that wasn't discovered until 2008. What is Markel cell carcinoma? Markel cell carcinoma is overdivision of Markel cells. So what are Markel cells? This is just a cross section of the skin layers. This is the top layers of stratum corneum second layer is stratum granulosum, third layer is the stratum spinosum, fourth layer is the stratum basal, and the fifth layer is the thermos. In the stratum basal, you have Markel cells, which forms uh, a synaptic cleft with a nerve ending, and Markel cells are responsible for uh, light touch reception. And Markel cell carcinoma results when these cells here uncontrollably grow and they create a mast. Um, developmentally, the, the, the origin of these cells is still under debate. Some experiments have been done and through birds it was realized that these cells arise from neural crest cells and in mammals it was found that they have an epidermal origin. And this is just that picture here. Now we take this picture here, this little section of the picture, and we blow it up. And this is what you have. You have a Markel cell here, and this is the nerve ending, and you have a synapse. And you can tell, and you can see how Markel cells have a neuroendocrine function. So what causes Markel cell carcinoma? Before the early 1990s, it wasn't known what caused Markel cell carcinoma. It was realized that maybe it was uh, sun exposure to UV light, um, old age, as well as uh, immunocompromised people. And it's also known that Markel cell carcinoma affects fair-skinned people or the Caucasian race. Um, in just about 2008, uh, scientists at the University of Pittsburgh found a virus 
in the family of polyomyviridae, or polyomavirus, and they found that this virus uh, is found in the tumors of Markel cells. This is just some pictures of what Markel cell carcinoma looks like, and it becomes a problem when it overdivides and it spreads to the lymph nodes, and it ultimately stops function. It disrupts the body's homeostasis, where the body can't function properly. I would just like to go back to a slide, and I would like to talk about the virus that causes Markel cell carcinoma. As I said before, the virus is called, it's in the family of a uh, polyomavirus, polyomavirus, and it's a DNA, double-stranded DNA virus that produces proteins when it gets into the cell that causes the cell to overdivide. And when this cell overdivide, the body can't recognize this to stop this division, and the Markel cells will constantly, constantly divide, constantly divide, and it creates a tumor on the skin layer and this tumor becomes an issue. As you can see here, a tumor has developed on this person's skin, and these are just the beginning stages. As you can see a hair on this person's lip, and you can see a hair on the fingers, and this is a very severe form of Markel cell carcinoma. As you can see, it's eaten away this guy's skin layer here. It's very bad. You can tell that, going, that he is not going to survive from this, sad to say. Um, mortality. Uh, Markel cell carcinoma kills approximately one in three patients compared to one in six mortality for melanoma. This is a very rare but deadly cancer. Let me say that again. This is a very rare but deadly cancer. Um, some treatment for Markel cell carcinoma is surgical treatment of the primary lesion and any lymph nodes are uh, indicated. They are usually incised out. They surgically remove them. Uh, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Okay, so the future of Markel cell carcinoma. Some future uh, aspects of Markel cell carcinoma is that there are two ways that Markel cell carcinoma is known to form. One is non-virus, so there's a there has been tumors where there was no virus found in the tumor, and there was there was tumors where they found the virus in it. So how do you treat a, a virus? How do you treat a tumor with the virus, and how do you treat a tumor without the virus? That is in the basis for new research. Um, how can uh, they develop a vaccine to stop? Markel cell carcinoma, just like they did uh, the human papillomavirus, HPV. You could take a shot, you could take a uh, vaccination and you won't get HPV. So, thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Omar Ballard here. Science rocks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh,